Hello my lovely Virgo, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance and I cannot wait to start this new series with you. This is going to be, thank God it's Friday, TGIF for all the signs, all the elements. I'm going to be doing a quick 10 minute read every Friday ongoing for all of you guys. It's my thank you to you for you supporting the channel and I'm also going to be taking a little bit of more R&R &R time for me. I'm going to be doing slightly less private readings. Don't panic, you can still book them but I'm not going to be taking quite so many but I'm going to be doing a lot more readings for you guys which I know you love. So Virgo are you ready? This is going to be super quick we're going to be doing 10 minutes for each sign and this is going to be for you. So whatever you're planning this weekend this is going to be looking at the weekend energies and also into the next few days for the next new week okay. Now for some of you yes I know some of you work at the weekends and I'm so sorry but hopefully um you will have one day off during the week and um, it's going to enable you to have a little bit of time for yourself. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're planning, let's see what the energies are for you, Virgo, coming into the weekend. Archangel Michael, please join me. What does Virgo... can't speak. What does Virgo need to know, please, my lovely Virgos, for the next few days, over the weekend and into next week? Thank you, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Okay. <laughs> it's funny. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. All right. Three cards for you, Virgo. Okay. He said, she said. Three cards for you. That's your energy. Three cards for your person, whether this is a lover, your karmic partner, somebody you're interested in. If you're single, it could be. The person that you're due to meet. Fingers crossed, right? Okay, it's pretty good. Moving into the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. Let's check this out. Let's find out the mutual energy, the energies between you guys. Thank you, Michael. Shift these over a fraction to get these in. That one, thank you. Okay. So last but not least, we're going to move into Kippa. All right. Let's check out the final energies between the two of you with Kippa. So Archangel Michael, energies, please. Overall energy between Virgo and their person of interest. Michael's telling me to cut. Here we go. Okay, Michael, take from the bottom or top, please. He said, turn it round. Thank you, Michael. Bottom, okay. All right, there we go. Okay, people. So let's see what we have for you, Virgo. Fingers crossed, right? Let's look at your current energy. Oh, really like it. Virgo, you are coming out of feeling as if you've got a black cloud over your head, okay? You might have been sat in a bit of stress, a bit of heartbreak, trying to get clarity on a situation. You are releasing those swords, releasing that stress, that anxiety, Virgo, feeling better. For some of you, you might literally have been unwell over the last few days and you're getting up, you're sorting yourself out, right? Yeah, but this is you coming out of anxiety. Yeah, you are dropping a big burden. Oh, Virgo. I'm actually hearing heartbreak. Now, for some of you, you are coming to the conclusion that something hasn't been working out. Some of you, you are ending a relationship, dropping the burden. I'm no longer carrying this. This isn't good for me. I'm super stressed. I'm letting it go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Letting go of a cycle. But look at you. God, you're so strong, Virgo. I love you guys. You are picking yourself up so fast. Maybe you knew this was coming. Maybe this is you ending a relationship with the other person of your interest, right? Karmic partner, somebody you've lived with for a while and you're moving down a new path. You decided I'm not going to sit in this place of stress. I'm not going to feel depressed about this. I'm going to pick myself up, drop that burden and move forward. Wow. Power to you. Power to you, Virgo. Congratulations. I think this wasn't easy. Yeah, I'm feeling that... There was, Michael's telling me there was, there were a lot of issues that you were dealing with, with whoever this is for you. Okay. Now let's have a look at their energy. Let's see what they are sitting in right now. All right. Temperance in reverse. 
This is somebody who could very easily be uh, a very unbalanced Sagittarius in the mix who is stressed, stressed maybe because they realise you've let them go, you are moving forward, you're no longer waiting, you've got out of the heartbreak, okay? If this is your karmic partner that you are detaching from, if this is more of a serious situation, they are very unbalanced. They're very unbalanced at this moment. Maybe they're wondering, have I done the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Should we try and make this work? Should we try and sort things out? Okay, they are not feeling in a very balanced place right now. Mm. Now we have the Four of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse. This is somebody who has stepped back from a situation. Previously, Virgo, you could have been dealing with somebody who's holding secrets, maybe about somebody else, maybe about money. Okay, they are now ready to pull back this difficult energy and move forward towards you and maybe explain what's going on, tell you some truths, open up. If there are any secrets that were hidden, they may want to try and explain. Okay. This is somebody who is also desperately trying to rebuild their finances. And it could be if you're letting go of a karmic partner, Virgo, or they're letting go of you, they know that they're going to have to sort their money out, right? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So with the five of pentacles, this person's been through a lot. I think you both have. But this is somebody who is now ready as you are to move in a new direction. They're not wanting to be isolated and on their own any longer. They are moving forward. This is somebody who is also trying to improve their money, working hard, regaining their financial stability. This is also somebody, though, who may want to offer you an olive branch, speak their truth, no longer be isolated. Maybe so that the two of you can put this behind you and move forward with no issues hanging between the two of you right cards on the table this didn't work out i'm so sorry for whatever reason let's just sort this out and move forward interesting let's have a look and see what the psychic tarot has to say energy between the two of you interesting we have base chakra now this card came through for the side of taurus so if you are involved with the taurus or you have taurus in your rising moon or venus this could very well be um, relating to that energy okay this is you beginning to think about what is important for you. This is your actual base core energy. This is something that maybe the divine is asking you to work on. Maybe you need to clear your base chakra. Think about your own stability. Think about what makes you happy. I almost see somebody wiping the board clean and starting afresh. Yes. Yeah. Rebuilding your base foundation. Okay, Virgo. With the energy of rest and rejuvenate, this kind of speaks for itself. Some of you are needing to take some time. This can be a calling to get out into nature, take a few days off. If you've been sitting in pain or distress or worry, this could be you literally on a new journey. We have a lot of green here. A journey of growth emotionally, or this is you deciding to take a few days off, go and see friends and family, go and have a spa day, whatever this is. Yeah, and spend some time in nature reconnecting with yourself. Reconnecting with yourself is what I'm hearing. Let's look at Kippa. What do we have? Message. We have message. So there could be some kind of paperwork that is coming through. It could be, I have to say it, divorce papers. This could be a message from somebody wanting to pass an olive branch. I'm so sorry about what happened. Okay, um, I want to see you. I want to talk to you. This could be a very spiritual message. I'm getting channel guidance through. Seven is a very spiritual number. You could almost be feeling as if you've, you're having telepathic communication with someone. Could be your karmic partner. You two could have been twins, twin flames. All right. But this is something that may be coming through for you. So expect a message of sorts. Again, it could be something coming through in the post. It could be an email or a text, but a message will be coming through. Okay, Virgo. Yeah. And we have mature women. So there could be a mature woman in the mix. Or oh, this is your energy if you're female. If you're male, you could be wanting to detach from a mature woman. Or you could be wanting to be with a mature woman. Whatever this energy is. Yeah. Now, this mature woman could be sending you a message. This could be somebody's parent's. If you're splitting and your parents are still with you, it could be a message of support from your parents. 
It could be an offer of financial assistance. It could be just a kind word. Okay, interesting. So Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings and I'll reconnect with you guys next Friday. Have a good one. Bye now.